Quan Chi's plot collapsed. Along with it, my plan to secure new beings to feed my starving people. Because I'd advocated for partnering with him, I was held responsible. If I didn't seize for Viternus' new feeding grounds, the Coven would banish me. But then, I had a revelation. I didn't need to conquer realms to feed my people. I simply needed to capture enough beings to breed them. Once they multiply, Viternus will have a limitless, renewable source of food. And I only need a few thousand to start. A number so small compared to the billions in the realms that no one will notice as people go missing. But it will be more than enough to establish our breeding stock and feed a ravenous Viternus. To elude capture by Empress Melina, I joined Havoc's crusade in Saido. There, I summoned more magic than I thought possible and drowned out the old regime. Havoc's longed-for anarchy had been achieved. He was more than satisfied. But I was left empty and broken. Had I been satisfied as Outworld's High Mage, not let myself be tempted by Shang Tsung, a great city would not now lay in ruins. I've caused devastation, ended thousands of lives, all because of my blind ambition. I've betrayed my oath, my sovereign, and my realm. These high crimes merit punishment, and I'll accept whatever the Empress gives me. My only ambition now is to one day be forgiven. Quan Chi's defeat had cost me everything. For months I had furthered his plot, and now I had to start over. Saido's people were still in chains. That's when Rain approached me. On the run from Empress Melina, he was desperate for help. And though I'd had my fill of sorcerers, this one was different. I agreed to provide him safe haven. He agreed to help topple Saito's government. And topple it we did. Rain summoned a wave so fast, so powerful, that it crushed the capital. Saito's fascist rulers were swept away. My people are finally free. They can chart their own course, needing only to follow their own desires. Their lives are now blessed by anarchy.